This right here is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road, and I'm gonna give you guys an outside walk around, an inside tour, and we're gonna take it on a drive. All right, so I'm sure you guys know the Tacoma TRD Off-Road is the sweet spot, the, the perfect like off-road bang for buck, where the Pro is kind of the, at the top end for like more Baja driving, the Trail Hunter, you know, more overlanding. This is what you wanna get if you're gonna start doing a lot of stuff yourself, in my opinion, but let's get, let's get into it. Let's start with the inside here real quick. I wanna show you guys this one. This has a nice, really nice black interior with this nice uh, tech, like print that kind of pops from behind, which is super cool, perforated. These are also heated and ventilated seats, which is really nice to see. Going on the steering wheel, really nice, beefy, perforated leather on the portions over here. And it's a heated leather wrapped steering, which is nice. But the really cool feature is the fact that this one has the 14 inch touchscreen. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in Wi-Fi, and all that good stuff. You get the red TRD and the start button. We're gonna start it up real quick just show you what it's like with it all powered up. But right below that, kind of the meat and potatoes, is you get the sway bar disconnect on this one, the locking rear diff, you have your you know trail view monitor system, 360 surround view camera, and your trailer backup assist if you ever want to tow stuff. And then this knob right here is, is kind of dynamic depending on what mode you're in. If you're in tow haul mode, that knob corresponds to that. Drive mode, multi-terrain select, your knob turns into your multi-slain select, and your down, uh, your, what is that, crawl control, downhill assist control which is super cool. You can adjust your speed with this knob. Right next to that, if I put it into neutral real quick, you have your transfer case controls here. Um, oh, let me close the door real quick. If I put it into neutral here, you get your transfer case controls. You go from four low, four high, two high, and then you can go back by just pressing this button to unlock the, the switch, and you should be good. So we're going to four high, put it back into drive, and you're chilling. But uh, down here, you have dual zone climate controls, your wireless charger, USB ports. And that's all great to see. Nice big glove box, Tacoma with this nice kind of gunmetal gray finish up top with shelving over there. And looking at the doors really quickly, you get these nice loops you can tie equipment to. I mean, the door pockets are very good, even compared to, let's say, the competition on the Colorado and the Canyon, which is super cool to see. But hopping in back to see the second row of seats, you still get good door pockets with your loops here as well. Uh, let me sit behind myself to see how I fit real quick. You know, not amazing leg room. I mean, taller people are going to struggle here. But really good headroom with this nice, you know, scalping in the roof liner, which is cool to see. But aside from that, it's pretty similar back here. Cup holders, USB-C uh, ports, and then a wall outlet right here. You only get uh, one uh, seat back pocket, so just keep that in mind. But let's show you guys around the outside real quick because this thing looks amazing. So going on the styling, you get the clean Toyota badge up front. You don't get the Toyota lettering, that's reserved for like the TRD Pro and Sutton, the T Trail Hunter, but you still get the really nice fog lights. These aren't the rigid ones, but they're still, I mean, functional. You can modify these. Aftermarket, I'm sure, is gonna support it. Uh, and then you don't get a proper skip, but you do get, you know, just a plastic bumper underneath here. And then, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like underneath. Going on to the headlights, full LED headlights with a nice little Tacoma uh, lettering, which is a cool little touch, attention to detail. These over fenders are a flat black plastic and you get vents here that kind of, you can peek through to see the, the wheels, which is cool. And as far as, you know, standard wheel package goes, you get these BF Goodridge uh, all-terrain tires. They measure 265, 70, R17, have these 17 inch TRD wheels. I'll step out so you gotta kind of see that in the light. Looks really cool. Come on the side here. I mean, this is the Solar Octane paint, which looks really cool. They're carrying that over. It was a TRD Pro color last year. And now it's one of the, just the normal quote unquote colors you can get for this year. And it looks really good. Tacoma badging on the side, black uh, B pillars over here. And then same thing with your window surrounds. And this one, you know, black plastic on the door handles, pretty simple stuff here. If you come along the side here, you get nice TRD off-road, you know, little, little vinyl right there, which is cool. And then right next to that on the tail light, you have the integrated button for your uh, power tailgate which is super cool to see you can fold it up and down with that button you can nudge it up too but let's look at the but let's take a look at the uh the truck bed real quick this one has a five foot truck bed on the right hand side you get your power inverter right here 400 watt 120 volt you do get a little cubby right here you can unlock this if you want to access that and then on the left hand side you get this compartment which has a 12 volt and usb-c ports which is pretty cool you get lights there this one has cleats and then a little railing on the side, but you know, good old composite uh, 
bed, which is, which is cool to see. I'm gonna just nudge it up with my knee here to show you guys it does come back up really easily. And boom, there you go. But yeah, Tacoma stamped in the back, really nice kind of taking inspiration from the Tundra and then on the TRD Pros you get that, but that's not on this one. Four by four badge that's blacked out over there. And then down here you have your uh, trailer receiver and then a full size spare. Is that a full size spare? Oh yeah, there you go, yes. Oh, yeah, we got a fact checking from TRD John over here. <laughs> I don't even know if that was a full size spare, but yeah, it is. So that's cool. All right, so under the hood of this one is a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, makes 317 horse, uh, sorry, makes 278 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. It's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission, but you can get this in a six speed manual transmission. You lose a little bit of horsepower, a little bit of torque, no big deal, that's just because they tuned it to suit the manual transmission better. So it's not a big difference. You can argue this automatic weighs more, whatnot, it doesn't matter. You get one depending on what experience you want. This powertrain delivers torque early on. Uh, I'll pop the MPG numbers right here so you guys get an idea of that. And this thing, I mean, to give you guys an idea on price, base price for a TRD off-road is around 40, 42, low 40s, uh, depending on obviously how you option it and stuff like that. So, but yeah, nice little you know, air box over here, feeds in nice cold air. Uh, but just take a quick look at the engine bay so you guys can get an idea for how all that stuff is. One other thing I do want to mention here real quick is the fact that this has the Bilstein socks, shocks with the remote reservoirs. First time for a TRD offer to have that from the factory. Makes a big difference as far as capability goes for the suspension. Love to see that. You also get the locking, locking or the, the differential from the Tundra. It's like a huge differential. I'll show you. Try to get a cutout uh, image overlay right here. But... Uh, CV joints, and those uh, CV axles and joints are beefed up for a TRD off-road compared to just a normal Tacoma. So they really did a lot underneath the skin to really improve this and make it durable. Even like your engine, your powertrain has a unique uh, covers to prevent dust and debris from getting inside and, and messing things up compared to a regular Tacoma. So the amount of variations you get just on the outside doesn't even show you what you're getting underneath. With all the walk around stuff out of the way, let's actually see how this thing drives. All right, we're getting straight into it. Actually, we're nearly like 30 degree decline right here. Uh, but we're gonna be doing these offset moguls, that's what they're called, right? Um, one without the sway bar disconnected, and then one with, to get an idea how that impacts wheel articulation, which I've never experienced before. I've never experienced a sway bar disconnect off-roading, so this would be really cool. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you good? You shout out TRG John for helping me film this. He's, uh, you can, you can flip the camera, show, show him. Up, guys? <laughs> yeah, he's hooking it up. He, he has experience with this too. What we'll do, Low, okay, yep. All the way to rock. Okay, because we hit the MTS, yeah. this turns into the MTS knob. Yeah, we got do sand as well, but it's I like that. Rock's a good one. Here. Yeah, I'll okay, do, we'll lock that rear differential. Lock the diff and sway bar, not disconnected right now. Disconnected at the moment, so let's we'll just, just see. Go real slow through here, so you can actually feel the difference. Yeah, you'll feel the drop ends. Uh huh, you'll feel the tire lift. Yep, there you go. Oh, Come yeah. On. So, definitely a lot of. A lot of roll left and right. Right. And then let's stop here. Okay. And hit the sway bar disconnect. All right, let's disconnect that sway bar. Uh, it'll just bit, blink a little bit on the dash. Second. Yeah. There we go. All right. We'll now just let's... creep through this. Okay. See the difference here. Section again, and you'll feel how much smoother it feels. Yeah. Is that not we're, awesome? we're barely rocking. I mean, we are, but like way less so. That's wild. That is so cool. And then to re-engage it, do you have to be like at a perfectly flat surface or how does that? No, you can actually, you can, sometimes people like to leave it on throughout their drive because yeah. it just lessens a lot of the offset bumps mm -hmm. and, and frustration you might, you know, the, the, the beating that you might get. It just softens your overall ride. Okay, are we gonna leave it off or, yeah, uh, so or should we re-engage it? Back on okay, and then so you could do it while you're... You got it. Oh, okay. Moving. Nice. Um, while you're articulated, um, yeah. sometimes it's electronic. There's not mm -hmm. a hydraulic option to it. So it, if it if it didn't completely separate, you might need to rock forward or backward. Okay. That will kind of release that tension because it's just gears bound up. Yeah. I'm off to. That's that rear. Locker. I'll make this right. You can oh, see the line right sure. there. Oh, for sure. You're good. You're good. Heck yeah. 
rear locker back okay. on because that maintains the trail instead of independent wheel spin. Okay. Now your tires are going together. It's pushing you up and over. So the goal here is to so, experience max roll, yeah, right? Max okay. Roll angle, so Should we get the camera? And there we go. Yeah. So we'll hit view again. Okay. So we got our monitor. That. Awesome. And then what we're going to do, I'll help walk you through. Yeah, yeah. View. So this is a good line to start off with right okay. here. And then right about now, let's start turning the wheel right. All right. Perfect. That's perfect. And just leave it at that. We're getting so high, it's starting to slip a little yeah. bit. Don't worry. Just give it a little, just baby throttle, right? Baby throttle. Yeah, a little more right. A little more right. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We're almost at 30 and degrees stop right there. Up here. So it feels kind of creepy. I'm like leaning, <laughs> leaning on the door over here. And like if you rolled your window down, you could almost touch the dirt. Well, not quite on the Not quite, yeah. We're going to get a little. It's going to get more, more extreme? Over there. Yeah. Okay. It maxes at 30, but we're actually going to, I think it's more than 30 degree roll angle. Right? Okay, so, so this is, and then we're going to go your side. Yeah, a little more left. A little more left. That's, That's perfect. Right there. All right. Oh, yeah, you can see the trench right there. Mm -hmm. Holy. And then, so this one kind of tilts back my way. It's, it'll get more aggressive. And then it'll kick oh my you goodness. way back. So it's kind of neat looking up at <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. You know, so you can feel <laughs> it's, crazy. it's more than it was over there. Yeah. And so, but it maxes at third. It's not going to show anything right. past that. Wow. And then, yep, keep this straight line. Uh, that's it right there. Hold perfect. that. Okay. There you go. Oh. A little bit right. Right. There you go. That's oh. perfect. You good? You good? <laughs> Do you have your seatbelt on? No, go <laughs> Jeez. We're practicing awesome? safety here. This is, yeah. A, yeah, no, this is awesome. I mean, I feel control. I don't know if John feels like he's in control. You're yeah. awesome. He feels in control on both sides of the seat back. That's good. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kick off your locking differential now okay. so that um, it'll turn a little bit easier. If you cool. Then we'll stop here. Okay. And then uh, let's shift to neutral. Let's get into neutral here. And then let's hit DAC. Oh, sorry. Shift over into four high. Four high, let and that transfer case do its thing. Crawl, DAC crawl. crawl, all right. So now it's going to pop up in here and it'll give you an option to. Um, oh, sorry. It's going to drive. There you go. Okay. So we might have to hit it. Nope, we're good. It activated. Okay. So now you can see your, your speed yeah. as we're increasing, decreasing. Okay. So you're, you can start like five or four or five and see what you think about the speed. It's a smoother descent. So I can let off? Maybe you can let off the brake and gas okay. completely, and then let it control you. Oh yeah, foot's off. It's at six so miles an hour, six, and, and if I like, six, if I just so go slower. Slow it slows me down, yep. and if I speed it up, it, it just starts. Up. That's so cool. But it doesn't aggressively speed. You yeah, up, it doesn't so like like just let you go. It's not like six to ten and like a tenth of a second. It you can go up just, to eighteen. Mm -hmm. Wow. And which is really nice. It's good range. It's on a long day, you just you're out in trail riding and you get beat up, and it's yeah. nice to just steer on the way home. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just kind of, you know that the rest of the trail is going to be smooth like this. Mm -hmm. Put in cruise control. And have Don't have to think about it. Yeah. And That's really nice. Then you can always brake. So like on this one, you'll need to brake around the corner yep. and then get your line. And then you can, when you let off the brake, it should just kick back into uh, your... Is everything else going to be good here? Yeah. We're good. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you have any questions about this vehicle, drop them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.